हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक टू दी लेक्चर नंबर ट्वेंटी फाइव इन पेट्रोकेमिकल टेक्नोलॉजी द न्यू टॉपिक इज कैटेलिटिक क्रैकिंग सो कैटेलिटिक क्रैकिंग इज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट यूनिट इन इन टू द रिफाइनरी दैट इज दैट इज कन्वर्टिंग दी हैवियर हाइड्रोकार्बन इन टू लाइटर हाइड्रोकार्बन एंड वैल्यूएबल प्रोडक्ट लाइक गैसोलिन एंड डीजल so you can see we will discuss uh, more detail about the catalytic cracking into this slide so if you talk about the definition of the catalytic cracking it is uh, a refining process used in oil refinery to convert heavy hydrocarbon into lighter more valuable products such as gasoline diesel on other high demand petroleum based fuels so like uh, you have seen the thermal crack cracking operation it is having the similar uh mechanism working mechanism but here we are using catalyst catalyst so unlike thermal cracking the catalytic cracking employs a catalyst to facilitate the breakdown of larger hydrocarbon molecule at lower temperature and pressure resulting in a more controlled and efficient process so there are two primary type of the catalytic cracking method so coming to the next slide the first one is the fluid catalytic cracking so fluid catalytic cracking is one of the most widely used important conversion process in the, the refinery it involves the use of powdered catalyst the catalyst are in, uh, used in the powdered form typically composed of zeolite this is the important catalyst that is zeolite and silica alumina this is another important catalyst that is used in fcc unit which is fluidized and mixed with the heavy petroleum feed stock so this is uh, once it is fluidized and it is after fluidizing it is mixed into the uh, petroleum feed stock that is heavy hydrocarbon at high temperature the temperature temperature is around 900 to 1000 degree fahrenheit and 480 to 540 degree centigrade at moderate pressure so the catalyst aids is breaking down the large hydrocarbon molecule into smaller one and more valuable product like gasoline diesel various petrochemical feed stock so the catalyst is continuously generated by burning of the carbon deposit coke in a separate regeneration unit to maintain the its effectiveness so you have seen into this process in fluid catalytic cracking we are using the catalyst zeolite and silica and this catalyst are in powdered form and they are fluidized and mixed with the feed stock at temperature of 480 to 500 deg 40 degree centigrade and this catalyst are assisting to break down the hydrocarbon molecule into smaller which are valuable product like gasoline diesel and various petrochemical feed stock like lighter naphtha so catalyst is continuously regeneration by burning of carbon deposit once the continuous there is a carbon deposit this uh, uh, catalyst are keep on regeneration process so they can be used again and they are separating the uh, regeneration unit to maintain its effectiveness of the catalyst so coming to the next slide we have another uh, type of uh, catalytic cracking unit that is moved bed catalytic cracking unit it is called mcc or tcc so this is a less common type of uh, catalytic cracking where a fixed bed catalyst moves through the reactor with the hydrocarbon feed catalyst bed moves downward while the feed moves upward and facilitating cracking reaction so this is facilitating a crack cracking reaction of the heavier hydrocarbon and catalytic cracking process operates by breaking down the long chain of hydrocarbon into a smaller molecule through the cleavage of the carbon carbon bond in a presence of catalyst and catalyst provide acidic uh, sites where the large hydrocarbon absorb weaken and then break apart into the smaller one more desirable hydrocarbon so we will come to know about the more detail of the catalytic cracking into the next slide so catalytic cracking offers the several advantage over the thermal cracking including high selectivity of for desired products milder operating conditions improved control over the processes and ability to produce higher yield of gasoline with 
better octane rating. So gasoline produced through the catalytic cracking is a major source of high octane component used in modern automotive fuels. So most of the product that is in demand that is gasoline that is produced from the catalytic cracking units with better octane number, high octane number. So additionally the process maximize the utilization of heavier crude oil fractions which would otherwise have limited commercial value and this because of the limited commercial value using this technology crude catalytic cracking this is converted into the more valuable product. So catalytic cracking, cracking plays a crucial role in overall refining process contributing significantly to the production of valuable transportation fuel and petrochemical feedstock. Here we have shown you a systematic diagram of catalytic cracking setup. You can see the temperature range is 480 to 550 degree centigrade and pressure range is 5 mega Pascal. This is the hydrocarbon heavier hydrocarbon chain that is shown into the diagram. So here you see the cracking product for rectification. This is a reactor. Into this we are sending a cracking product. This is a steam and this is the air. So uh, you can see from uh, using this tube, this uh, uh, feed is passing through the another uh, regeneration reactor. Here the catalyst is fluidized and mixed into the feed stock and then uh, it is heated at very high temperature that is 480 to 500 degree centigrade temperature and after heating this is uh, cracked and here the catalyst further move to the regeneration section and here there is a combustion gas coming out of this catalytic cracking unit and this is the catalyst gasoline. So after uh, moving through this reactor the catalyst is degenerated and this goes back to the again into the catalytic reactor. So you can see this we have uh, given you example the C16 and H34 that is a heavier hydrocarbon. So with the application of the catalyst and heat this is being cracked into the smaller product C8, CH18 and C8H16. So these are two valuable products which are very important for the market. So next topic will be discussed into the another lecture and uh, we will uh, next topic will be discussed into the another lecture and for any question you can write me. Thank you.